I cried tears of joy a few minutes ago when I heard the decision of the Supreme Court on DACA. These wonderful DACA kids and their families have a huge burden lifted off their shoulders. They don't have to worry about being deported. They can do their jobs. And I believe, I do believe this, someday, someday soon, they will be American citizens. I've met so many of these beautiful children and their families. Now many have grown, been grown up. They came to America as little kids and all they want to be is Americans. They work hard. I met many of them, I met some of them during the COVID crisis in New York, risking their lives to deal with the healthcare crisis we had. I've seen them enlist in the armed forces and go to college and some of our best colleges and law schools and climb that American ladder that has been around for so many years and some people want to rip away. So this is a wonderful, wonderful day for the DACA kids, for their families, and for the American dream. We've always believed in immigration in America. We've had some dark forces oppose it in recent years. But we believe in it. It's part of our soul. Every one of us cares about immigrants, and so many of us are descendants of immigrants. Wow, what a decision. And let me say this, in these very difficult times, the Supreme Court provided a bright ray of sunshine this week with the decision on Monday preventing discrimination in employment against the LGBTQ community, and now with this DACA decision. To me, frankly, the court's decisions were surprising, but welcome, and gives you some faith that the laws and rules and mores of this country can be upheld. Wow, the decision's amazing. I am so happy. These kids, their families, I feel for them. And I think all of America does.